You thought it was Jacksepticeye, but it was I, Lano. <coughs> oh god, I can't talk to that. But yes, we are back with some more glitch in the system, and um, we're gonna find the glitch and solve the glitch. And we still need to find wherever we're supposed to go. Can I go in here? Thunderstorm. <laughs> and a love little Nico there. <laughs> it's adorable. Hey, and I do love the puns here, I'm just saying. Yeah, top notch. Seriously, low. Who is Lano? It's not the important anyway. Lano is in my game. Well, not in my. It's a little bit confusing, to be honest. Oh wait, do you mean? Nope. Definitely not. Let's get going. See you, Nico. <laughs> oh. Oh god, I love Nico. And it would... I'm not sure where we were supposed to go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here is. This place is fancy! How did I miss it previously? Police? You have a police there? Oh my god, I need to check this. Uh, do you have something you want to confess? No, why? Because this is a police station. I can't visit the cops. Maybe there are superheroes here. There's a whole other area for them to meet up. Do you know anything about superheroes? They don't usually work with law enforcement. Depending on what, Batman doesn't. Well, yeah, I read a few comics books in my time, but I don't know how things work in Byland. Okay, well, people don't usually stop in a police station just to say hi, and superheroes are lone rangers. There? Was that so hard to explain? No, but shut up! <laughs> cyber life! Gotta say, it feels like a little weird being about to walk into cyber life. I mean, depending on your route, wasn't that made kind of done obsolete? Oh no, they don't sell androids here. It's a repair shop now. Kind of like all the rest of us have the hospital games. Androids can, can go there too, but it's easier for them to come here because it's more specialized. That and they actually know what they're doing here. Oof, that kind of smarts for the hospital. Hey, I'm not the one who put Schneeb in charge over there. Blame them. Yeah, I mean, Professor Dr. Schneeb is someone we shouldn't trust. <laughs> Nice theater. Kinda looks like something you see in the Broadway. Yeah, they're actually playing a musical version of the whole adventure we had. It's been playing for like two years. Damn, that's cool. Whoa, I never thought I'd be a character in a musical. But don't get too excited. A few of the people in the cast went missing, so the show's been closed for a few months. Oh yeah, good thing you're not going to have to leave us to go perform later tonight. I wouldn't have anyway. I didn't get the cast. Why wouldn't they cast you as yourself? Apparently, you have to be able to carry a tune to be in a musical. High standards, if you ask me. Then who got cast as you? Azriel. And given the amount of makeup he has to put on every night, it seems like a lot more effort than it's worth. Who's playing me? The fan game yaks rotate. And they found a couple of NPC from The Sims to play Jenny and Cliff. It's a big break. I'm pretty sure you barely noticed them at all when you did a, that series. Yeah, I really need to stop noticing people before they decide to exact revenge on me. Anyway, the show being uploaded on to YouTube. You should look it up. I think the channel name is YouTube Yaxepticai the Musical or something like that. Is it really a thing? You know, I'm actually gonna, just for other pure cu curiosity, I'm actually gonna check on that. Uh, let's see. Kutub? Now I'm actually curious. Yeah, septic I the musical. Now I'm curious. Uh, there is actually a channel for that. Oh, that is cool. I need to check on that afterwards, because that is that is legit cool. I like the idea of that. My gosh! Oh, man. Lots of awesome work put to this. Oh, this looks really like a restaurant. What kind is it? Oh, all kinds. A lot of different chefs from cooking games got together and decided to work here. They each get their own floor, so there's a lot of variety. 
This wouldn't have to include that one cooking me. Trust me when I say people avoid her floor like the plague. Cooking M. Oh god, I'm trying to get my brain around what it is. Oh, I need to check these. This fall. Hey, that is cool. Little oh gosh. I want to play that game. It looks so cool. Cuphead the movie, starring Cuphead and Mugman. Oh ho ho ho. Huh? There's no poster here. Yeah, that's coming soon. Wonder what they will be there. Will it be like Minecraft the movie? I mean, obviously it's game that uh, Jack will be playing and all that. Cool. Oh, that's a really fancy looking theater. Sure, because we have all the time in the world to sit down and watch a movie. Uh-huh. What can't I admire the outside of a building while secretly drooling over what all its super sleek interior might look like? Yep, and that's exactly why. Um, mood killer. Okay, it doesn't seem there was something, nothing here I was supposed to do. But damn, seriously, this place is huge. It humongous. There are lots of stuff here. Can I go this way? No, I couldn't. I really ah, oh, blue. <laughs> I love that. God, that is so sweet. Seeing characters from the other va um, other fan games. That is actually that is a legit sweet thing. And uh, hmm, that was not the place. Who fancy? It's a hotel. Okay, yeah, it's there. Important games. Well, in my opinion, I would say. Oh yeah, it was this. Calculate. Man, see, I need to check that out. I haven't seen that guy in Monster Prom. I haven't played in a while though, but I think that is super cool. Then again, I love robots. I love mechs. They're awesome. You know, when I when I was a kid, there was two things I wanted to, to become when I grew up. One was a dinosaur, and the other was to be a transformer. So in the end, I came to the conclusion I should be a robot transformer. You're saying? That's saying. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I'm afraid not fan art on the walls help to drive business. Indeed. Uh, okay, yeah. Now. Can I take the guns? Can I take the guns? Check out. Yeah. You don't have here to have any items. Now we can. Do I need? I need to find something. ADM. Look at all this food. Fuck me. See, looking at this food makes me makes me hungry. Wait, there. This looks suspicious. What's this? That's our free sample of the day. Please partake if you so desire. How long has this shrimp been sitting out? Approximately 72 days, 3 hours, 2 minutes, and 76 nanoseconds. Maybe later. This is wild and digital food doesn't get bad unless it's programmed to. How about this food then? Unfortunately, the package has long since been recycled. The microparticles in the air do suggest fragrant odor wafting from its general vicinity, however. Might want to get some fresh shrimp then. Affirmative. <laughs> Aren't you gonna replace it? The employee handbook states I must be ready to complete customer's transaction at a moment's notice. Therefore, I must remain behind the counter while you are present. So, if we left, I would proceed with replacing the shrimp, Jess. Hold on a second then. Okay. This <laughs> Have you changed the shrimp yet? Affirmative. This shrimp is now approximately 50% unlikely to cause any intestinal distress. What was it before? Assuming it was perishable and given the amount of time on display, multiply that by the growth rate of Campylobacter bacteria jejuni at approximately 30 degrees centigrade. The previously inedible prison would have likely been 95%, given or taken margin of error of 2%. I think I'd rather play lottery, thanks! Oh, can I eat? I want to eat them, and the anyways, I like shrimps. I like shrimps. Shrimps are tasty, 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 tasty. But what? Yes. Hmm. Isn't this something I should? Is this something I should get here? It feels like there's something I should get here. But 
And why is there a tire in the quarter like that? You know, you know, generally when I go to a shopping mall to buy food, they generally don't have tire in the back, in the corner. If they are not very tired, of course. <laughs> Did I go to everything except? Oh my god! Guys, don't look at me. I am dumb. <laughs> I am. Uh... Don't worry, I'll cover the price of the IDs. At least I can do. Wait, isn't it for. Oh, it is! But you're back. That took longer than I thought. Mm, you thought we'd be back? Well, I thought you would come see poor and Yori, but I guess I was wrong. Where dare you refer to yourself as Yori? Georgi, Potato Man, whatever, I'm not in change of fact, you need help. So why are you here? Are you needing the fake IDs? And my fake IDs, we need our real virus IDs. Not as much fun, but those I can do. Uh, broski, I'm gonna broski in here. This way, please. Broski, 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 broski. <laughs> well, we might as well. Now you must remember to stay still and look directly into my camera. Directly into my camera. Run! <laughs> I hope I didn't scare anyone. I scared myself pretty much and my cat. I can barely see that. <laughs> Sean Jack William McLaughlin. February night. Oh man, he's four years younger than me. Holy shit. Damn! I'm an 86 baby, so I'm 32, I'm turning 33 this year. <laughs> I don't want to. A blood type red. <laughs> well, that is true. A and F E. Uh, I don't remember. I know I'm having the intro very introvert uh, and all that. Major hotel man. What? Really? Is that for real? Did he actually study for that? Holy shit, that is a big change in uh, work. Next. Sit still or you will not be in the frame. It's dark in here, where am I supposed to? <laughs> well, you're Billy Sean Fitzpatrick. June 2000. Oh, he's so young. Apartment complex, uh, blood type AB minus, uh, pain in. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah, well, that is a major as well, I'm gonna say. Next. Ah, uh, you have a nice complexion. Look directly into the flesh. Won't that be a bit? No. You know what I would be fun? If she literally was, like, completely white because the flesh was so strong, like... Whew. Jennifer Marie Zimmerman, September 94. Uh, inf game design. Cool. Expiry date, September 9. Hmm. Next. I am having to move the camera up to your face. You're taller than Yori, you thought. Okay, say when? <laughs> Cliff James Smedley, November 1st, 97. Oh man, I'm my birthday is 17 November. So it's just 60 days. Bro, we can share birthdays! Yeah! I'm just saying, uh, major pre-med. That's done. And that is your IDs. Less fun for, less fun than fakes, but more fun than no IDs. Thank you, Georgie. So that will be only 400 bytes. Uh, Georgie, I can cover the cost of the IDs if you're all done. Uh, then no need to be worrying. So how much do I owe you? You said it was 400 even. Okay, here. What was that? And then he? And let us shake him. It's not like it came from the outside. Come again soon. Think we should follow? Let's go. Did we even pay? Or did we just bail? What was that? My my office! Narni? <gasps> what happened? What kind of sinister plot is unfolding? Well, what the hell happened? I, I don't know. What happened to my office? Only one way to find out. Run away!
I am right and angry now. I'm almost too scared to go in. No, I have to. My, my office! What the fuck exploded? What? Someone has, has blown up my office! This is bad! Wait, hold the phone! I thought you were the most powerful person here outside of Jack! If you didn't want your office blown up, you probably could stop it from happening! Yes, yes, that is usually how it works. So the fact that someone did... You think someone is taking control? It is only explanation! Jack, you are more powerful than I am, and if this person has already... Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't want this. I don't... Eee, this is like Sarah's missing stuff going on. I don't want... I don't like this. What was that? I don't you... Did you miss me? No, no I, I didn't. I, I, I'm per... I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I didn't miss you, whoever you are. Are you anti? Anti, okay, it's anti. What did you expect? Oh, I told you before, told you before. I always say it to you, but you can't get rid of me. Oh. That is exceptionally creepy, but also exceptionally cool, I'm gonna say. Kudos to the voice actor and entity. I haven't, I have seen plenty of things. I am in control of one of And there's nothing you or your little friends can do this. How about fuck off? Unplug the ether cables? <laughs> and why? Why are you doing this? Looks like we're not going to get an explanation. Jack, I, I don't know what to do. You have to help me. If he takes over violent, we are finished. All your games, everyone here, they are all gone forever. Please calm down. Of course I will help you, Mac. I can't just leave violent or defenseless. Not after everything we've been through. Thank you. Thank you so much. So what can we do? Um, look around. Maybe he left a clue as where he is or how he's doing this or where he will strike next. We can do that. Well, now everyone is dispersed. I've never actually investigated a crime scene. I wouldn't even know where to start. Don't worry about that. I call the best of the best. Oh, who's that? Hello, my name is Connor. I am the android sent by Cyberlife. Uh, <laughs> Man, I haven't played that game, but I so want to play it. <laughs> it's, it's you, my boy! You must be Jack. I was hoping to get to meet you. Though I suppose we could have met under better circumstances. Uh, no kidding! Well, this place looks like shit. <laughs> I guess Evie's broken figures. It looked like there had been a serious disturbance. Allow me to look around and try to find the source. Whoa! A real investigation with Connor Nick? This is the best thing ever! So, what can I do? Take a look around the room. It is possible that we might miss something. Just have everyone tell you what they find too and relay it to me. Got it! <laughs> this is cool. I guess I get this spark. TV is broken in three pieces, but the window behind is clean. Why is this busted deliberately? And now I'm looking closely, there are some clean cuts on the TV. No blast could do that. So why did I anti break it? Maybe because there was a camera in there, or that's the way, secret way into his lair. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Notice anything? <coughs> the mug and the glass on the table were blown back, smashed against the wall and the floor. But the table itself is a damage, like at all. No damage? Yeah, and what's more, the console has been blown back by the explosion. Why is it a table dent or anything where the console hit? That's a good question. Yeah, it's almost like the console blocked it from being damaged. But your thing getting hit with it will make you some mark? Well, that's a good observation. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Hmm. I like the music. It's cool. But why is this? Why is this happening? How, why is something... Hmm. Maybe it exploded in a different time, like t t time um, moment. So I have found any clues. 
I'm sorry, I don't see anything useful. But maybe I'm just too scared to notice. Jack, why do you think Auntie would do this? I have no idea. He's acting weird, even for me. Weird? He usually works in the shadows, not right out in the open, blown up offices. Actually, how do egos get here? They're not part of the game. Well, much like your influence canon, your community has a small influence on canon here too. If it's of the same process by which Billy came to be himself. Enough attention to just mater materialize here. Well, it's more complicated than that. Since they're sort of alter egos of yourself, characters you play and, and I'm basically you here, they come directly from me. From you like, out of you? No, nothing grows. Just a part of me become them, like if you cut off a lizard's tail and it grows back. Except the tail grows a new lizard, actually. That's not the best analogy, is it? I get what you're saying. They are part of you, but like, not attached to, like you're their dad. Yeah, I guess I am. Wait, if that's the case, how come you can't control Anti? Did you always obey your parents every time they told you to do something? Good point. One more thing I want to know. If, other than me, you're the most personal <laughs> The one who sets everything right and cleans stuff up. How is Andy doing all of this? I don't know. I mean, I thought the Egos didn't have my abilities, but maybe they just never tried them out. Or maybe this has something to do with your community. Generally, I have no idea. I have a feeling that would be important to figure out. Hmm. Because if we can usurp you so easily, the other Egos might be able to do it as well. One thing I do know, you are the ultimate force in this computer. Absolutely nothing and no one can overpower you. So even if Ant becomes a foe equal to me, he's still less powerful than you. If that's the case, why couldn't he just grab all the Hydro Persian keys and get a l go last time over us here? You were split. The computer went haywire trying to figure out how to accommodate for both of you. So your power probably got weakened. But as Sean, you did quite a bit to move things around, if you recall. Hmm, that's right, I did. Sorry about that. It was no trouble. Like I said, I was just doing my job. Well, thanks anyways for everything you've done here. You're welcome. Hmm. You know about this uh, moving with the uh, the different alter egos joining. It reminds me of an anime I watched a while back, which is uh, uh, Recreate, an awesome anime that uh, if you haven't watched it, I suggest watching it. It's about pretty much um, characters from games and animes getting dragged into our world so to speak like batman and all this would join here suddenly and it's really cool i like it so what do you think could have happened in here i'm not sure just looking at this control panel it seems off to me how off off how well i'm not a detective but i noticed that the control panel is broken rather cleanly like someone cut it with something and if it was that close to the explosion there should be ash on it right yeah that's a keen observation you think Anton might have moved the panel before setting off the bomb? I really don't know what to think. I mean, I love mystery games, but they, they are about as close as I've been to real investigation. Well, yeah, but I think it's a good observation anyways. Thanks. Uh, this is a mystery, hmm? What are you looking at over here? The window at the door is it's not quite right. Not quite right? Hmm, come on. Outside office, okay. Yeah, it's a hole. It's like... Someone punched it. Maybe it wasn't a bomb per se, but someone fighting there? The glass from the door is all over the place here, but there aren't any shards inside, meaning the, the force came from inside. Well, yeah, it's probably shattered with explosion. Uh, I don't think so. No ash on them. No ash on the door. And they deliberately broke it. Wait, could they have done that to look like a break-in? I guess that makes sense, but that means it got another way and smashed the glass from the inside. Why to go to go to that trouble then reveal yourself right away? If someone break in, broke in, it could be anyone, but I mean, he made it pretty clear it was him. I'm not sure. Well, thanks. That was really useful. And if he wanted to pretend that it was a break in, then he would have punched the glass from outside, so the glass was the glass shot was on the inside because outside obviously weird. It was nothing really. Just notice it, that that's all. Yeah, this is some weird. See anything? Yeah. Was there anything in this office by the window? Some candles, a plush frog, and law books. Why did he ask? I saw the intention on the edge of the carpet. And that not kind of shit Andy'd be interested in, so he must have pushed it out the window. 
or it got blown out by the explosion. But why? Hell if I know. Well, that's a problem worth noting. I think I might have found something. Jack, it's time to tell me what you figured out. Figured out? From what I can tell, your clues indicate that Auntie broke in, broke the TV, broke the console, and moved it to the table, and smashed the glass on the door. That's the gist, yeah. This does appear to be the blast center. However, the floor is damaged here is inconsistent with how damage from an explosion device would actually look. Really? Are you saying this was an actual explosion? No, there was some kind of explosion, albeit very directed. The size and location of the holes in these two windows confirm that. But it doesn't seem to have involved the floor even if it appears the way at first glance. This patch was damaged somehow and then repaired, in fact. Color, what are you? Ooh, I, t I told you not to do that. My apologies, Hank, I'm just trying to get a sample. <laughs> so, what did you taste? It was clearly repaired in a hurry, and it's not made of the same material as the floor surrounding it. So that... So that means... Ugh, that means this is how Andy and the room must have repaired his floor when he left. Now hold on a second! Andy can repair floors now? That isn't very like him. After all, they destruct it while fixed the floor. If he was trying to create a locked room mystery, he did a horrible job covering the escape route. Perhaps we can follow the trail. What's other the room? Some office is undergoing renovation. No one's been there for a while. You think he used the empty space to his advantage? I can't make any solid conclusion just yet, but it does appear so. I am going to beneath the floor to see if the area below has any clues. Why not just go downstairs and circle around? They likely barricade the door after leaving. Going this way will likely save time. Well, I'm not jumping down there. It would be best not to bring too many people. So Jack, do you want to accompany me? Hell yeah I do! We should go now. Time if you're less old jab. Lead away! Don't scare me! It's a bit spaz, isn't it? It may be, but I'm not convinced that there aren't clues left to find. Then I guess we better look around. But yes, I'm actually going to cut for now, and I will be back with more Yak yeah, the guy glitching the system very soon. So thank you for watching, see you later on, and I will continue Super Red Day.